How you doing guys? It's Swoopin' from Swings Gaming and uh, today I'm bringing you a bit of a tutorial or a how-to even uh, on recording basically. Uh, both me and Laser Ninja J are using a program called uh, DxTory. I know a lot of you guys are probably using Fraps and so did I till I found this program. Basically this pro uh, program does whatever Fraps does but way better smaller sizes uh, awesome quality and it doesn't screw up your FPS as much in games and uh, with these settings I have on right now I lose tops one or two FPS in any game I'm playing and uh, yeah I'm just gonna show you a bit on what we're using and how to use it really it's a quick how to basically so this is DX tour you can download it is Google it. I will provide a link for everything down below. Um, and I'm using a codex called H264, which basically is a high quality HD codec, but it kind of renders in a weird way an AVI file, which in uh, return when he imported it into, into Sony Vegas and tried to work with it, it kind of lags up Sony Vegas quite badly and usually crash it. But I have a workaround for that as well. And I'm not sure why it does it, it just started happening all of a sudden. But anyway, so you need to download uh, the H264 codec and make sure you download the same co um, codec as in 32-bit or 64-bit, uh, depending on what version of uh, Vegas you have. If you have the 64-bit version and what version of, obviously you won't have the 64-bit uh, version if you have a 32-bit operating system. But make sure you have the same version on the Vegas and the codec, otherwise it will not work. And you will boot it up and you can change it in this drop-down and you will go down here. And here's just, I have it on raw cap because I lose, I lose even less FPS while I have it on raw cap. And then I just convert it, uh, convert it with this. But as you can see, I have nothing in here because I haven't recorded anything. Uh, I already rendered everything or converted everything to AVI. And uh, 30 frames per second, 15, uh, 15 keyframes rate. That should actually fix it so Vegas doesn't crash on you, but it doesn't really help. It did for a while. And as you can see here, I have it on say, set on size. And I got it set to record at 720p because I don't have the best uploading speed, so I don't really want to work with 1080p because it will take me a day or two to upload anything. And here is some basic things. And uh, if you just pause the video and look through it, you can get the best settings. And I don't have the best high end computer, I have a decent PC, but it's not the best. But yeah, this is this is some settings that work for me. And if you set some settings on the wrong thing, you will have a really big annoying file to work with. So I suggest you follow these settings because this floats the best and uh, all that. So yeah, there we go. You should be able to have all that. You can just pause the video to see a bit more in detail. Uh, this video will actually be uploaded in 1080p just because so you can open up it in full screen and take a look in all to take, take a look at all the settings. And uh, when I recorded something, uh, I have it set up to be in my folder. And I was, um, you can also uh, write to several hard drives or folders at the same time, which will also increase the quality of the things you record and. Uh, take some load up of the computer itself but I have it set up on one folder because I don't have that many and uh, it's a very basic program, it's easy to use, it's a bit much when you start using it but once you get a hold of it it's quite easy this is just where you want the overlay to be shown, you can disable it by pressing in the center here uh, hotkeys the movie settings Oh yeah, audio settings. Uh, here you need to do th two things really. You need to set up two devices at least. One for your incoming sound and one for your outgoing sound. As in outgoing as a microphone, incoming as in game sounds, Skype, 
sounds and everything like that. So I have one set on. Uh, I have a Vergence 2000 head uh, set, and I have one set for a mic microphone, microphone, and one set for the headphones. And I got the same. Make sure you have the same settings if you go into control panel. You go into sound. You go in here properties and advanced. You'll see here what settings you have it on. Make sure you have it on the same thing here. I got. Two channels, 16 bit, 44,100 uh, 44, hertz, and I have that as well here, as you can see. Make sure you have it have it on the same settings in both things, uh, both the microphone and headset. Headset, otherwise you will have some weird audio uh, coming in and out on the recording. And uh, here we got some screenshot settings. I never use this because uh, I rarely take screenshots, but if you want to do that. Here's how to, and uh, here's here we have some uh, some uh, advanced settings. This should actually be set to. No, it's good for one actually. Uh, I only have dual call. I got a Sandy Bridge installed, so it's not like I said the the best, but it works. And you can play around with with these, but be careful. And. Uh, can't remember. I think I had f f two or four set on that, but it works for one as well. It doesn't really do much of a difference with my PC setup. And that's about it, really. It's really simple to use here, as you can see. It's a drop down of games you um, and programs. You can, let's say, I I want to record something in League of Legends. I usually, if you have it on default, you will sense what, what things you have open and record from that when you press also you will see the overlay if you have that on and if you see that and you hit record it will record that but let's say you have several things open like I never only have one game open I always have LOL running in the background and all that so let's say I want to record something in LOL I just press that set it up and it should work correctly uh, so yeah, that's that. Uh, so when I recorded, I have to convert it to an AVI file, as I showed you earlier in here. And when I done that, I can't. That's the file. When I import it to Vegas, Vegas will be, nope, screw you. I'm gonna lag the shit out of your program and crash it, nine out of ten times. I don't know why it does this. I tried to figure out why, but I'm not too sure why and why it does this. But I found a workaround. Um, I don't let it afraid to use program as you can see here I already made a uh, made a eh. alright now I'm lost here um, I converted it thank you very much there we go uh, basically this takes your AVI file and convert it to M4V which kinda compressed the files a bit and makes it way easier for Vegas to handle and it's free to use program it's easy to use you just open video file and take whatever file you want to use which in this case is this one browse where you want it to end up save it name it and all that and here you can change settings on it and I usually go high profile so you get the highest quality out of it and you can change it to M MKV file as well but if you're going to do some work in Vegas and upload it on YouTube later, I suggest you go for MP4. And that's it. And later on, you just drag it in here into Vegas, which you see here. This is uh, Dishonored, as you can see. And this is just where I ended off after nine episodes or so. So I'm just about to edit this. As you can see, I got quite a amount to edit. But as you can see there's really no lag. I can cut something easily. I can make it overlay. Let's just um, let's just mute that quickly. And you'll see in the preview window I got it on half settings though. Because I'm shooting a video. Well that didn't go as planned, did it? Well, I guess it's hard to see since it's the same thing. Hang on. Let's undo that. There we go. Alright, uh, show me something. Here we go.
open. Um, it should start. Yeah, it should start. It's black right now. Oh, spoiler alert. Alright, that's a bit of an overkill, but, but yeah. So, uh, if I would try to do these, especially when recording, uh, with a regular AVI file, it would be lagging horribly and probably crash on me. And uh, this is why I use this program. And I kind of have to use this codec because I personally think it's the best when recording because I don't lose any frame uh, rate whatsoever. Excuse me if you heard that. A little bit of a burp. So let's recap this. Uh, and me and Lisa Lin and Jay both use uses the same things. And what we used to edit, Sony Vegas, mostly. I sometimes work with uh, After Effects as well to do certain things, but that's mostly intros and whatnot. What we used to record, DX Tori. Uh, all links will be down below, but Vegas you of course have to buy, purchase, or download their demo on the website. Um, we're using DX Tori to record with a codec called H264 settings you can go back in the earlier this in this video to see the settings and I use a free to use program uh, DX3 is also free to use by the way I think it should be at least it was when I downloaded it uh, English please download yeah it's free to use I don't know why you should buy it Oh well, uh, it's free to download and use. Um, and the free to use program ho called Handbrake to convert the video from AVI to MP4 or MV M4V. Uh, yeah, I think that's that. Was, uh, I think that's about it. And. Um, I'm probably forgetting something, but if you have any question about any of the programs that we're using and you want a bit of a more in-depth video on how to do something uh, or you just want a quick reply or a quick tip or whatever, just leave a comment down below and I'll come back to you and answer it personally as quick as I can. Um, and if you have any ideas or suggestions of videos, videos uh, we should be uploading. That goes for up uh, gameplay videos uh, to let's plays to tutorials like this. Uh, we have a few ideas that we'll be coming up with that we'll be showing you guys soon. Uh, but for now, you have to do with what we have. So yeah, uh, don't forget all links are down below for DX Tori, the codec, and all that, and. Um, also don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button and also comment down below <laughs> and until next time Vikings out